All right, so we're in class, so if you hear some stuff in the background, it's other kids. Um, shout out to third period. You know? Hi. I'm recording it right now. Recording it right, right now. So, yeah, listen, me in the studio. Um, all right, so on number 11, what's going to happen is we're going to multiply in the top and the bottom. So this is going to give me... 2x plus 3 on the top, and then in the denominator, it's going to give me 5x plus 4 times 2x plus 3 plus 6x times 5x plus 4. Alright, so here's what I did. I took this and multiplied in the top and the bottom, and then I took this and multiply it in the top and the bottom because I have to have my denominator to be the same in order to add. So now I'm going to distribute. So 2x times 2x is going to give me 4x squared. 2x times 3 is going to give me 6x. 6x times 5x is going to give me 30x squared. And 6x times 4 is going to give me 24x. And I'm just going to keep the denominator. The exact same. Okay. In the top, I'm going to combine my like terms. So that's going to give me 34x squared plus 30 all over 5x plus 4 times 2x plus 3. And when I do that, I've got to check and make sure that if I can factor the top, I'm going to, um, just to see if I can cancel anything out. So 34 and 30 have in common um, 2. So that's going to give me 17x squared plus 15. And there's nothing really that I can cancel out. So I'm going to state my domain restriction. So remember, that means I'm going to take my denominator, set it equal to 0, and solve. And that's going to give me that x cannot equal 4 over 5. Wow, look at that handwriting. Let's try this again. So that's going to give me 4 over 5 and negative 3 over 2. Alright, so over here, what I'm going to do is factor first and see if I can cancel anything out or, you know, combine like terms slash multiply. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to factor that denominator. Sorry. I'm going to factor that denominator. I know y'all can't see that green. So that's going to give me negative... Sorry, my friend's doing the absolute most. So that's going to give me negative x plus 2 over x minus 7 times x plus 7 plus 3x over x plus 7. What I'm going to notice is that there's an x plus 7 over here and there's an x plus 7 over here. So I've got to multiply this fraction by x minus 7 in order to get the same thing in the top and the or same thing in the denominator for both of my fractions. So when I do that, I'm going to get this. And I'm turning this into one fraction because that denominator is going to be the same. So this is going to give me 3x times x minus 7. When I distribute that 3x, I'm going to get 3x squared minus 21x. And I'm going to keep all of this the same. all over x minus 7 times x plus 7. And when I combine my like terms, I'm going to get 31, 3x squared minus 22x plus 2 all over x minus 7 times x plus 7. And x cannot equal 7 or negative 7. Alright, so same process is going to happen here, except we're just subtracting, right? 
So we notice that the denominators are the same, which is great. So we're going to take the top and we're just going to combine our like terms. So that's going to give me x minus 9 over x minus 1. Our domain restriction for this guy is going to be x cannot equal 1. So sometimes these problems are really quick and sometimes they can take five ever. Again, same thing is happening here. The denominator is the same. So I'm going to combine my like terms. So 5x minus 3x is going to give me 2x. And 2 minus negative 1 is going to give me positive 3. All over x squared minus 9. Where my x cannot equal positive or negative 3. Those are pretty quick. Now this is the fun part. So our denominators are not the same. So I'm going to have to factor, factor excuse me, um, which is going to give me this. So negative 2x over x minus 9 minus 3x minus 10 all over x minus 9 times x plus 5. What we're going to notice is that there's an x minus 9 in both denominators, but there's not an x plus 5 in both. So I'm going to take that first fraction, and I'm going to multiply by x plus 5 in the top, and I'm going to multiply it in the bottom, which is going to make this one fraction. And when I have this negative out here, I'm going to make sure that I distribute it, right? It's going to go to all parts. I'm going to distribute this up in the front. So that's going to give me negative 2x squared minus 10x minus 3x plus 10 all over my x minus 9 to x plus 5. So when I combine my like terms, I'm going to get negative 2x squared minus 13x plus 10 all over x minus 9 times x plus 5. Now I'm going to see if I can factor this up at the top. So when I factor, I'm going to do my box or my big x method. So a times c is going to give me negative 20. And b is going to give me negative 10. Nope, negative 13. Sorry. So I need to think of two numbers that if I add them together, I'm going to get negative 13. But if I multiply them, I'm going to get negative 20. So that's going to give me... So I really can't get, think of anything that's... If I multiply them together, I'm going to get negative 20. If I add them together, I'm going to get negative 13. So this would be my final answer with x cannot equal 9 or negative 5. Alright, so over here, our denominators aren't the same. We can't combine our like terms yet, so we got to make sure that we multiply this over here, and we multiply this over here because we want that denominator to be the same. So that's going to give me 7 over x minus 3 times 2x plus 1. And we got 7 times 2x plus 1, and we've got minus 7x times x minus 3. We're going to distribute, so that's going to give us 14x plus 7 minus 7x squared plus 21x all over x minus 3 times 2x plus 1. We're going to combine our like terms, so that's going to give me negative 7x squared plus 35x plus 7. Oop, that's going off the screen. All over x minus 3 times 2x plus 1. I'm going to factor and see if I can simplify anything. Um, so 7 times 7 is going to give me 49. If I add things together, I'm going to get 35. Not much I can do there. So x cannot equal 3 nor negative 1 half. And if you think of something that I can simplify, just let me know, and um, I can fix it. I did this pretty quickly. Um, so just let me know if I did make a mistake, because it's possible I was moving quick. Um, so yeah.